Welcome to another Grandua Africa video. When we say hydroponic capsicums, we mean business. Today, we will be showing you how we are growing capsicums hydroponically in Kenya. We've been growing these capsicums from the stage one when they were transplanted all the way to the flowering stage and now to the maturing stage where we are harvesting them, grading, weighing and packing them. My name is Samuel Mbogwa from Grandio Africa. Today uh, we just uh, finished delivering our first batch of capsicums and we have uh, another batch uh, that is about to be picked up. So we just wanted to introduce you to capsicum farming. As you know, uh, we use the trough system that you can see here. The troughs are uh, fitted with uh, drip lines that uh, ensure that the crops uh, get water. And uh, it's quite a versatile system, if you ask. So sometimes uh, people have asked me, why do you need to do it hydroponically over a uh, normal conventional farming and my answer to you is that we need to do it hydroponically because of very many advantages such as saving on the land space that you need to grow the capsicums uh, you also save on water because they, there is a recycling system the system is closed so you can recycle water and you also, as you're recycling water, you're also recycling nutrients. So it's also a plus. Another thing is that you cut down on labor. You do not need to do weeding because there are no weeds to pull in hydroponics. And finally, the pest and disease control is reduced by 80%. So it is something that uh, is quite advantageous. And with hydroponics also, you do not need to do crop rotation. So you can grow the same, same crop over and over. Uh, if you're doing the colored capsicums, you can do them without uh, seizing. The reason we are doing colored capsicums is because uh, of the value. The value of colored capsicums is, uh, you know, higher as compared to other vegetables such as lettuce. We have it at uh, 30 shillings uh, per piece. Uh, we are talking about Kenya shillings. So we have tomatoes, which is at 50 shillings a piece. We have uh, red onions, which is around 80 Kenya shillings a piece. So uh, colored capsicums will go between uh, 100 and 120 shillings per kg. Uh, Compared to these other vegetables, we think that uh, going for colored capsicums in the same trough system that you can use for tomatoes and other vegetables, uh, you know, colored capsicums have a higher value. There, are, there is also less infestation by pests. So that is something that we, we also would like to highlight on the same. There are less pests you have to deal with uh, on colored capsicums. Also, uh, if you think about the amount of work you put when growing colored capsicums, uh, for example, compared to tomatoes. For tomatoes, the vines, you know, are very long and when they grow uh, tall above your chest level, you have to bring them down. But for colored capsicums, they grow like a bush and uh, you do not have to bring the vines or the, the crop down. So it saves a lot of energy and a lot of uh, need for labor. Again, compared to tomatoes, the value is higher and you, you need less labor in terms of staking and tra trellising. It's not as much as the tomatoes, although you will need to support the, the crop as it branches. The other thing I would like to talk about is the uh, quality and the shelf life of hydroponic uh, capsicums, especially these colored capsicums, you can increase the shelf life by wrapping them uh, using a cling film paper. 
uh, as you can see. But even if you will not wrap and just put it on the shelf, uh, uh, what we have noticed with our produce is that they have 21 days uh, shelf life, you know, without the product going bad or rotting or just, uh, you know, uh, looking funny. But uh, apart, apart from that is that all hydroponic uh, produce have a very good shelf life. So it's something that I would like to urge you and you know, if you wrap like this and put it on the shelf, you know, you can have them fresh even for a month. When you wrap them like this and put in the fridge, you know, in the vegetable section of your fridge, they will last even longer. The reason we wrap is to ensure that the, the skin does not lose moisture. If the skin loses moisture, it becomes uh, wrinkled. You know, it, it looks uh, flaccid. It looks like it's not firm. But wrapping them like this, you know, increases uh, their shelf life. So, uh, of a conventional produce, hydroponic uh, produce has a very good shelf life. So it's something. It's one of the reasons why we we practice hydroponics on these veggies. So the other thing is uh, Grandio Africa offers a market segment. Uh, we do off-take produce from other farmers. As you have seen us delivering uh, some capsicums to a hotel, you know, a fast food restaurant. So it's something that you can do. and uh, you, you know, it's something that we do. And uh, I would like to urge anyone who is interested to plug into our capacity building program where we do contract farmers. We sign a contract with agreed prices. Uh, I know that some people have had a very bad experience uh, in contract farming, but I uh, would like to say that apart from the naysayers, we are still doing it and we are doing it uh, very professionally. You get to know that we have a price that we have agreed on beforehand, you know, a lower limit and an upper limit. The issue that we've been having is that of brokers or middlemen who have to wait until you're harvesting your produce and then come and say that they cannot take your produce because the quality is low. Now, what that means is that they have not walked the journey with you. As Grandio Africa, what we do is we offer agronomy support as you know stipulated in the contract we do offer agronomy support when you, when when you're growing your produce it is in our interest to ensure that there is consistent production so it is for that reason we offer agronomy support to your staff or to you as a farmer to ensure that the crops uh, you know there is no crop failure or that the crops do not experience a lot of pests or disease and then lower your production so we would like to you know walk this journey with you instead of waiting until you have ready produce and then say we you know the produce does not meet our target market but when we walk this journey together then it means that we we will be the ones of taking the produce and cannot reject what we have shown you or how we've shown you to grow the product, you know. So it's a win-win situation, if you ask me. And uh, I would like to urge anyone out there who has a farm that's lying idle, has some funds, and you do not, uh, you know, you do not want to resign from your current job or current uh, venture, and you would like to increase your income base uh, by, you know, farming and doing it like a true business, uh, we would like to come and bridge that gap of know-how, of agronomy, of uh, market, and, you know, make your work easier as a producer. Yeah, in addition to the agronomy that we offer to ensure the consistency of the product, uh, I will say it's we also offer value addition training. Uh, we have noted that some people, you know, will discard uh, tomatoes or colored capsicums because they are not looking as fresh or they are not firm 
or they look watery or you know for some reason and they end up you know throwing away produce which could have been value added to produce uh, something good uh, for example uh, the red capsicum you know can be used to make pasta sauce uh, you know all types of sauces uh, whether you're using them on pasta on barbecue on uh, you know your rice or whatever very good and tasty and you know the flavor of the red capsicum is very very strong it's very important to uh, know that there is more than than you know just uh, selling fresh produce value-added products have a better shelf life and they also have you know a, a, a higher value in the market you know they have a, a better price so apart from just doing sauce for tomatoes you know there is the issue of uh, you know not on, only tomatoes but also capsicums there is the issue of you know doing uh, powder you know uh, you know grinding them sun drying them and doing powder you know that can be used uh, in the long run for things like you know not only sauce but even cooking uh, later in life so you do not need to throw away uh, produce uh, rather i think we can urge everyone to uh, you know plug into our value addition trainings so that we are able to demonstrate to you how you can add value to your products how you can add more money to your pockets uh, yeah rather than just throwing away uh, your produce yeah so i hope uh, it was an enlightening video uh, we will request you to subscribe to our youtube channel you know like our facebook page you know check our uh, website as we add more information especially on the downloads tab hit the bell so that you can be getting notifications anytime we upload new content thank you for now and bye bye